we have discussed rhizopus and now we will be discussing uh, one more fungus we have discussed rhizopus and now we will be talking about yeast what is yeast it is found very no uh, very easily in the atmosphere wherever the sugar contains are there talk about the grapes uh, in the grapes you can uh, if you see the yeast will be there then uh, talk about the nectars of the flower or maybe the sugar cane that means it is present in the sweet solutions of the plants very commonly in the atmosphere these are single cell structure and somewhat ovoid structure so these are single cell structure that means they have only one cell but they can be present in the form of the single structures that means only the single cell is present or then these single cells can uh, be you no know, uh, close to each other forming a chain so may be found in the chain these are single cell structure which can be seen as a single cell but many a times these single cells come close together to form the chain like structure now are found very commonly in the atmosphere are present in the atmosphere very commonly especially in the nectar in the nectar of the flowers because even that is sweet then in the sugar cane etc even in the grapes i told you that it can be seen in the grapes also these are somewhat ovoid structure these are of oval shape and has well defined nucleus now if i want to draw this is the structure of the yeast vacuoles can be the bigger one and can be more than one we have nucleus nucleus is present and the vacuoles are also present and the cytoplasm cytoplasm will be present i am talking about the structure of the yeast where this cell structure is somewhat ovoid or the oval shape it has got the nucleus okay this is the nucleus and the vacuoles are present which can be big certain granules are also present certain granules are also present in this <coughs> <coughs> so this is a very common structure of the yeast it is a single cell structure which can be found in the form of a single cell only and sometimes they are formed in the chains now the very common structure of the yeast where the cell is of oval structure which contains nucleus granules 
cytoplasm as we all can see over there then when we talk about the certain special characteristics of this so what is there you know even it has got cell wall it has got cell wall then even the the fat cells are present our fat granules are also present now when we talk about certain more description in detail so what is all about the yeast yeast is first of all it is a single cell structure now we when we talk about the reproduction how does the reproduction takes place in the yeast the reproduction takes place by the method of the budding now what is the meaning of the budding and how does the budding takes place now suppose this is the structure of the here we have one cell on this cell of the yeast this all structures are there certain small bird like structure will be formed certain small bird like structure will be formed i can name this as bird and this bird will get detached to uh, from this parent cell this bird will get detached from this parent cell and will give rise to the new cell i am talking about the process of the reproduction in the yeast so what exactly we are discussing about budding that means a need of means of reproduction budding is what here the means of reproduction first of all we have discussed about the bacteria bacteria part is over then we came to fungus in fungus we discuss about the rhizophores now we are discussing about the uh, yeast where the cell is oval nucleus is there vacuoles are there cytoplasm is there granule is there fed uh, vacuoles are present fed vacuoles are present now how does this single cell divides so it divides with the help of the bird yes this single notch or the bird like structure is formed on the cell and it is not necessary that on one cell only one bird can form on one cell even more than one bird can be formed and this will be seen i am not discussing this thing in detail because here we don't have to discuss all the modes of the reproduction in detail we just have to uh, it is just uh you know uh has to be discussed in the out, in outline sort of a structure it is not in detail so i'm discussing just you know one has to know that what are the structures and how does it divides but mainly we have to discuss about the harmful and the useful aspects this outgrowth is formed it get detached and again this structure divides and redivides in in this way again again the birds can be formed are formed and the new structure is seen this is all about the yeast the reproduction in the yeast now we need to talk about the respiration and the digestion when we talk about digestion actually in the rhizopus also we have not discussed about the digestion so how does the digestion takes place generally see from here certain enzymes are secreted are the en certain enzymes are sec when uh, are secreted and these enzymes are responsible for breaking the complex substances into the simpler one you take the example of the mushroom also how does the digestion takes place in mushroom uh the mode the the digestion which takes place in other organism is like we say that it is the digestion takes place inside the body here already the digestion is taking place and so we can say that the digestion is 
digestion is extracellular digestion is extracellular that means here the digestion is not taking inside the body if we talk about human beings the digestion will takes place inside the body in animals other animals also the digestion will takes place inside the body but here the digestion will not takes place inside the body rather the enzymes will be secreted even when we talk about the yeast or uh, if we talk about the uh, rhizopus or if we talk about the mushrooms they secrete enzymes when this enzyme fall on the food material the complex substances get broken up into the simpler one and then simpler substances are absorbed by the cells if you talk specially about the yeast yeast can digest simpler substances they can absorb normally they can absorb normally when we talk about the digestion in yeast the simple sugar can be absorbed but when we talk about the cane sugar and something like that then again the structure secretes certain enzymes which comes on the food and or food or whatever you know the solution is present over there then that particular food starts getting broke you know it starts breaking it gets broken up into the simpler substances and then it can be absorbed by the body body means a cell so this was about the digestion also we have discussed about the digestion also that extra cellular digestion takes place extra cellular digestion means it is not the case that the thing the food comes inside the body and then the digestion takes place which is, which happens normally in most of the animals rather here these are secreting enzymes these enzyme falls on the body of the you know whatever is consumed as the food and then the organic substances the complex one get broken up into the smaller one and then can be absorbed by the cells we have discussed about the digestion also the structure of the yeast also about the production also that it takes place with the help of the budding in which ex ex one extra bud like structure get developed and this bud uh, when it get detached from the body it acts as a new cell it acts as a new yeast cell and will have all the characteristic feature of the parent cell so here also the reproduction is discussed and now it's uh, we will be discussing some more points like respiration and uh, certain uh, different points also will be discussing please know this now we will talk about useful part of the fungi useful aspect of the fungi if we talk about the usefulness of fungi the first thing which comes in my mind is about the antibiotics antibiotics if we antibiotics was first formed by fungi only a scientist named alexander fleming alexander a scientist named alexander fleming he was working with the uh, certain you know culture of the bacteria and we can say the disease causing bacteria when he was working with disease causing bacteria uh, he had the culture on the plate on plate he saw certain green color structure and on further studying he understood that this green color was mold due to the due to the you know mold and it was penicillium notatum and this penicillium notatum is what actually it is a name of the fungus this penicillium notatum is producing a 
substance is producing a chemical which inhibits or which was inhibiting the growth of the bacteria what we are discussing we are talking about antibiotics now what are antibiotics to talk about antibiotics if you are talking about antibiotics and if you do not take the name of the alexander fleming it won't be you know it won't be correct alexander fleming was a scientist and he was the one who first discovered the you no know, uh, antibiotic from the fungi known as penicillium notatum once alexander fleming was working with he was working with disease causing bacteria disease causing bacteria and on this culture he saw on this culture he saw certain he saw certain green color structure green color structure he studied and he came to know that the the penicillin notatum of fungi penicillin notatum is a fungi and this fungi produces a chemical substance which is known as penicillin this penicillin notatum produces a chemical structure which is known as penicillin and this structure stops the growth of the bacteria it stops the growth of the bacteria so when he saw that due to certain this uh, chemical structure which was named as penicillin due to this the bacteria were not able to survive or the growth was also stopped then he made the antibiotic from this penicillin notatum and he named this as the penicillin we'll discuss this again we are talking about antibiotics alexander fleming for the first time made antibiotics from the fungus now which fungus actually a small incidence i'm talking about that he was working with the uh, certain bacteria um, disease causing bacteria and on this cultural plate he saw certain green color structure and he studied and he concluded that the fungi named penicillin that is penicillin notatum okay the name penicillin notatum is creating a substance this chemical substance he named as penicillin and he saw that due to the presence of this fungus penicillin notatum the growth of those particular bacteria was inhibited the growth was stopped and that was the reason from this chemical structure from this chemical penicillin alexander fleming made the antibiotic now we have discussed uh, antibiotics when we were discussing about the bacteria also it's not uh very easy to create an antibiotic because even antibiotic should work in a particular way what does the sentence means that means uh, an, an antibiotic should have broader spectrum that means a uh, antibiotic should kill more of the uh, microorganisms more harmful microorganism it should not be the case that one antibiotic is killing only one type of it is acting on only one type of microorganism no 
if an antibiotic is made certain points are kept under uh, you know uh, has to be uh, look upon that the antibiotic should be able to kill many varieties many species of the microorganism that means the uh, the spectrum the broader spectrum it should work upon so if i want to write how an antibiotic works so an antibiotic should have broader spectrum when i say broader spectrum it means that the antibiotic should be able to kill many harmful microorganisms at the same time it should not kill it should not kill it should not kill useful microorganism useful microorganism okay it should not kill useful microorganism and even the side effects should not be major side effects should not be major now at that point when he alexander fleming made penicillin he was not having all these points in his mind this i am discussing that when antibiotic is made all these points has to be kept in the mind that it should not uh, be you know working on the very narrow spectrum it should kill varieties of microorganism at the same time it should not kill useful microorganisms and on the top of that the side effects should not be major so with all these characteristics the antibiotics are made but uh, the one who made the antibiotic for the very first time was alexander fleming and he made this antibiotic from the fungi known as penicillin notatum and from this the he made the uh, antibiotic which is named or which was named as penicillin actually the penicillin notatum creates a substance this substance was named as penicillin and that is the reason even the name of the antibiotic is also kept as the penicillin so when he observed that the growth of the bacteria uh, was inhibited due to the presence of particular uh, fungi then he used this fungi he used this substance as the uh antibiotic so this is a very important use of the fungi and this that is the reason uh, are discussed this as a first point now when we talk about the second usefulness or we if we want to go on the second point the second is also the major one about the fermentation but as the place is now there we will discuss certain normal uses of the fungi now fungus is also used in the cheese formation or cheese production in the discussion or when we were discussing about the bacteria it was also discussed that how bacteria are useful for the cheese production that means even the bacteria are useful for the cheese production even the uh, we can say the fungus also plays a, a very important role in the formation of the cheese so cheese production is also one of the important use of the fungi when we talk about the other uses the other one we can say because as i'm discussing about the food so here also i will take food as the third point food in food if uh, we are discussing about the fungus as a food and if we do not talk about the mushrooms it won't be correct 
so when we talk about the use of fungi as food mushrooms has to be discussed this we all know we all know that all the varieties of mushrooms are not edible all the varieties of mushrooms cannot be consumed you you might have seen mushrooms many a times you know even if you go in a certain forest sort of area or certain dump dump in shady places uh, you will find under the trees or near the you know trees gr uh, certain mushrooms are growing but you cannot just go and pick and start eating or start cooking them because we do not know which which mushroom we are uh, picking and which mushroom is that what is what is a species which species it does it belong to because all the mushrooms cannot be consumed as these mushrooms are very very poisonous so uh, the mushrooms which can be consumed obviously those are available in the market and where these mushrooms are used if these mushrooms are used in uh, making vegetables and even in uh, the soups and the pulaos these small small pieces of mushrooms are used in the uh, pulaos and the uh, curries and the uh, soups also so mushrooms are used as the food but we all know that all the species are not edible now when we move to the next one i would like to take the formation of acids when we talk about the formation of acids uh, even we have discussed this thing in bacteria also that bacteria are also used in the formation of acids at the same time the fungi are also used in the formation of acid say for example oxalic acid so formation in formation of acids also fungi plays very important role now uh, i think it will be quite easy for you all to learn this because we have discussed majority of these points uh, when we have we were discussing bacteria almost uh, bacteria are also useful in uh, all these points like bacteria are also used in making antibiotics bacteria are also used lactobacillus in the formation of curd and cheese then yeah food we do not uh, consume bacteria obviously then the formation of acids also bacteria are used in the formation of acids also now uh, then next point which i would like to take is that and act on dead and decay matter we all know even the bacteria act upon dead and decay matter and convert them into the uh, uh, simpler substances and thus uh, recycling of the elements become possible in the same way fungi can also be seen on the dead plants and animals and help them uh, help the elements to be recycled when i say that they act on dead and decay matter how can we forget about the agriculture and the next point which i would like to take is agriculture when the fungi are working on or acting on dead and decay matter obviously we can say that they are acting on dead and dead plants and animals dead plants and animals when they are acting on dead plants and animals obviously that particular plant or animal will be converted slowly into humus or in soil or we can say that the fertility of the soil will be increased that is the reason even fungi plays very important role in agriculture 
Now the next is fermentation. Now due, due to this one characteristic feature of the uh, fungi which one the fermentation the usefulness of the fungi increases like anything. Now what is fermentation first of all so before discussing this I need to clean up this so we will be uh, discussing this fermentation but before that just would like to talk about what are the uh, other you know uses of fermentation just because the fungi the yeast for you know is responsible for fermentation or I should say because of the fermentation process we all know the idlis, dosas or even you know the doklas, the bakery items all many like varieties of edibles are made which uh, due to the formation of that due to the process of fermentation that all these foods uh, food uh, items become more tasty or we can say we can make all this thing because of the fermentation only. So uh, not only this the use of uh, this one um, fungus in the wine industry in the bakeries uh, is all these is possible all this is possible only due to the process of the fermentation because ferment they, they ferment the thing the ferment the glucose. So what is this fermentation we will talk about that before going to this major uh, part that is fermentation I would like to talk about the uh, all the points which uh, we have discussed. So first of all the useful aspect of the fungi is antibiotics, antibiotic we have discussed about the antibiotics that antibiotics are used to kill certain microorganisms and these antibiotics uh, plays very important role nowadays especially when so many diseases are there. So Alexander Fleming was the first person who made antibiotic for the very first time he was working with the uh, certain bacteria which uh, you know, were responsible for causing disease that means he was working with a disease causing bacteria and when he saw the green color structure he detailed that and he observed that that was penicillin notatum of fungi which created a substance known as penicillin and this penicillin uh, was used to make the antibiotic and was named as penicillin only. Then we also discuss about the features of the antibiotics that it should not be uh, very harmful for the one who is consuming that. That means it should not affect adversely on the uh, consumer. The one who is using this as a medicine should not be harmful for that person and it should be able to uh, kill many microorganisms and should not kill useful one. Then fungi are very very useful in cheese production in agriculture because they also act upon dead and decay matter and uh, not only this fungi are also the uh, fungi are also used as food. When we are discussing about food mushroom is very important out of that as it is used in various ways now mushrooms can be consumed in different ways at different places then uh, fungi can also be used uh, for the formation of the vitamins which I have not mentioned over here I need to write vitamins especially B complex. The fungi are used to make a vitamin also, it is used as food also, it is used to prepare antibiotics also and for the formation of oxalic acids also. So these many uses we have of, uh, anti, uh, of fungi. Now when we come to the fermentation we will see that so much uh, this fungi is so important 
it creates so much of revenue for the government as this is used in the wine industry also so now we will be talking in detail about the fermentation and how this fermentation plays an important role in the wine industries as well as in the bakeries so before we move to the fermentation in detail please note all these points <laughs>